Hello and welcome to my next video to help you to learn to paint portraits from a photograph, sort of like this. Um, first of all, I'd just like to introduce myself. My name is Simon. I am a portrait art artist, have been doing it for a few years, but in all honesty, I am not actually that far ahead of you. I've got no academic qualifications in art. I learned to paint through going to art classes and really then a desire to do it, a will to do it. And, and then, you know, lots and lots of practice. So these videos that I'm creating now, I believe I'm very well placed to help you certainly get to be able to paint paintings like this one you see on my easel. Um, I paint everything, like I say, from photographs, nothing from life. And I have a process that I believe if you follow will certainly help you to paint really good paintings. So where do we start? Well, what I've done here, this is another painting, or another photograph, I should say, which I have painted. By the way, if you want to see any um, paintings that I've done, and this one in particular I'm showing the photograph of, I did a painting called Granite, it is on my website, Simon Hiscox Art. .co.uk. Simon Hiscox Art. .co.uk. Look on there and you will see the paintings and certainly you, you'll see the painting that this photograph uh, was used for. Okay um, and also if you you know this this um, video you feel it can help you, you feel I can help you please subscribe you can subscribe subscribe down below now and then you won't miss any of the videos that I'm going to be doing over the next few weeks um, and I'm sure they will be very beneficial to you to be able to paint portraits in the manner or similar sort of thing to, to what you see here. So first of all, I want to do, I want to talk about, you know, what do you do? So you've got a photograph and by the way, I take the photographs of these on my phone, okay? So you do not need any special equipment. I took the photograph of this. This was actually at a party in a pub uh, for my daughter's birthday six years ago. Um, this is actually my ex-father-in-law who sadly passed away a few years ago. But you see, it's a really straightforward photograph that I took in a pub. Um, and then I printed it off. And that's probably what I would suggest that you do. Um, if you're going to work from a photograph like this, first thing I would say to you to do, print it off in black and white. Because my process, what I'm going to explain to you, the best way to get the, the best lightness um, into your painting is to paint initially in one colour. What I normally do is paint using um, burnt sienna. That, that, and, and again, I think you, I'm not sure if there's anything like that on my website, but I am going to talk about doing things in mono. It, is, it, it would generally be called an underpainting. Um, you don't, once you get more experienced in it, you may or may not decide that you need to do an underpainting. But I will say the key things about painting a portrait, certainly from a photograph, is the tone, what Americans call value, tonal value is absolutely vital to get right. And also looking at the shapes uh, is absolutely vital. And pinpointing the areas, certainly of the face, that you, you pinpoint exactly so that, you know, you will then get the lightness. How do we do that? Well, what I do is, or what I'm encouraging you to do, is the grid system. So basically, you would either print a photograph off like this, draw a grid on it, or, is in this case what I've done, I've done it in Photoshop. I actually have Photoshop on my computer. You may find another image editing app program, even an app, I think you can even do apps on phones, that would allow you to grid an image. Um, probably not going to explain too much about that, I thought that's reasonably easy to understand how to do. Once you've gridded the image here, you would basically grid your canvas. So this, this canvas that you see here, originally, I would have just, um, pen, using pencil, I would have created a grid on this canvas. Once I've created the grid, I then sketch out the 
the image, you know, the, the outlines and the, the actual relevant detail of the image. Um, pinpointing certain areas so you don't go, you don't lose them, i.e. The, the pupils, where the, um, the nostrils are and the edge of the mouth, maybe parts of the ears as well. So you, you lock those down, you, you have them perfectly, you know exactly where they are on the canvas. Then what I would do is then, I, what I do is I put a wash of a dilute, you know, this is in oil, I do mine, um, a dilute solution of, uh, that's actually uh, substitute terps and the color, like I say, raw sienna is the good one to use. Make that a very weak wash right over the top of it. So you're basically knocking out some of the pencil marks. All right, um, let that dry. And then you can go ahead and start painting, which really what we're gonna talk about in the next video. So part of what I'm talking about now will overlap a bit. Um, but the key thing what I'd like to get across in this video is that you, you have an image, you turn it into black and white so you can see the tonal values much easier, all right, and put a grid over it and then transfer the grid onto the canvas, all right, and then sketch out so you've got the proportions as, as absolutely right and take time with your drawing and that's really the, where we are up to now in this particular video. Once you get to that stage, um, you'll, you'll look in my next video, which I'm going to make in a few days, and we'll, we'll talk about um, where we go from there. So, like I say, um, please subscribe to this, and then the next video in this series that I'm going to be doing, will um, you'll be alerted to it, and um, yeah, you won't miss anything. So... Thank you for looking at this. Hope this has been of help. Any questions, if there's something I've not really explained even in this video very well, put it in the comments below and I absolutely will answer. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.